Hello and welcome to Fly Tying in the Smokies. I'm Hugh Hartzell of Smoky Mountain Guide Service and today we're going to tie one of my favorite nymphs for the South Holston River. Many of you have heard of the split case PMD. I have a little different version of it I'd like to try to tie today. So settle in, enjoy this, and get ready to do some wintertime fishing when the weather clears up. I have tied in a, a small section of dyed yellow mallard flank feather and we will use that for the tail and I've also tied in one biot from a yellow goose feather. The yellow goose feather is going to be brought forward and used for the abdomen and the body. We'll make touching wraps as we bring it forward. And I probably need to get hold of this with my hackle pliers so that I don't lose it. The split case PMD is a real good imitation of the sulfur nymph. It's just as good on the Watauga River and on the Holston River below Cherokee Dam. I'll bring my thread back out to just beyond the midsection of the hook shank and at that point I'm going to tie in a couple of dark goose biots it looks something like this these are tied in at angles something like a 45 degree angle And when they're finished, they look something like that. You can see the angle to them. The next thing we're going to tie in, and this is for the wing case. It's a piece of yellow foam. This gives the fly a little bit of buoyancy. We'll bring it in just behind the bead head. And with light wraps, we'll tie it in and work back until we're just in front of those two goose biots. I'll fill in just a little bit right there. The next thing that we're going to do for legs is to take another one of those dyed yellow flank feathers, mallard flank feathers, and cut a v-notch in it and come in right behind the bead head and do a little bit of a soft pinch wrap. Another one. Kind of position your legs after you have tied it in. and then trim off. Take your piece of foam, raise up slightly, put a little tension on it and bring it forward. Hold with your thumb and do a soft wrap, another soft wrap. Position, make sure you've got it like you want it lift up on it and put some tension on it. Trim off. Now bring one of your biots forward and tie it in. A couple of wraps, two or three wraps. Bring the other one forward
and you can either take it back and tie in or you can trim them off right here Take your whip finisher and finish the fly off. Now take a look at the fly and make sure you've got everything just like you want it. And when I turn it over there I think you can see the split cases one more thing that we do to this fly before we finish it up to make it look just like one of those sulfur nymphs is to lightly take a brown magic marker and touch some spots up and down the abdomen through the wing case even on the thread and this is what it looks like a very good imitation of a sulfur nymph I hope you've enjoyed this today I hope you get out on the stream and use this sometime in the near future come back and visit with us at Smoky Mountain Guide Service thanks for having you with us today